How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we are talking chicken bombs. Look at these. They look wonderful. They smell wonderful. If you don't know what a chicken bomb is, they go by a few names. Chicken jalapeno poppers is another one, but it is a stuffed jalapeno with cream cheese and cheddar cheese seasoned up with some rub with a chicken thigh wrapped around it. And then we wrap that in bacon, hit it with a little more seasoning, get it out on the cooker, smoke it till that bacon and the chicken's done, hit it with a nice, nice sauce. And uh, this is what you get. And these are absolutely fantastic. So let's bring in and show you how we're going to prep these chicken bombs. All right, so the first thing we have to do is prep our jalapenos for these chicken bombs. And what I like to do is just kind of drop them, see how they land, and then that's kind of what we're gonna roll with here. So you wanna go ahead and cut the stem, but you wanna leave the end piece like that, so that way all of our cream cheese and cheese mixture will be contained. So set that down, and then this is the side it's kind of landing on. So we're just gonna take our knife and make a slit down. We're just gonna pop this open, being careful not to squeeze too hard so we don't break the jalapeno. I'm just gonna take an end of a spoon and just go ahead and dig out all of these veins and these seeds. All right, and so that is what we're looking for. You can see nice open jalapeno in there. We'll be able to hold our stuffing nicely, get it sealed up, and nothing should leak out of the edges. You can see I have the other ones prepped up. So now let's go ahead and get our stuffing ready for these jalapenos. All right, and our stuffing is going to consist of a block of cream cheese and about a cup of cheddar cheese, and we're just going to mix this all together, get it incorporated. But first, we want to get a little flavor in here. So we're going to come in with my Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle Rub, and I'd say, about a quarter cup in there just for a little flavor. And now we'll just get it mixed up. All right, so now that we have everything nice and evenly incorporated, we are just going to stuff our peppers and that's just gonna look like this. Just peel a little off, get it in there. And this is easier to do when the cream cheese is still a little cold just kind of forms in there better. And there we go, there is our stuffed pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the rest of these and I'll bring you back. All right, so now we are gonna come in with our chicken thighs and all I did was put these in a plastic bag and just kind of pounded them flat. That way they cook evenly. First thing we're going to do is get a little seasoning on here and we're just gonna come in with the Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle. I think this flavor profile is gonna go really well with this recipe. We just wanna get both sides. All right, so now that we have our chicken season, we're just gonna take this seam side of the jalapeno, put it down, and then just wrap up these chicken thighs back to kind of their normal shape, like so. And just repeat that with the rest of the thighs. I'll show you one more time here. Seam side down, and then just wrap it over. That is all we are looking to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these wrapped up and I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, so there's our chicken bombs all wrapped up, seasoned up nicely. Next, we're gonna be wrapping these in bacon and to be doing that, we're gonna be utilizing these grill pins. This is an awesome company. It's veteran owned and operated. I've used them before in another video and they were nice enough to send me some of these, but these are absolutely fantastic. Nice made in America product. So let's go ahead and get these chicken bombs wrapped up. All right, so to get these chicken bombs wrapped up, it's very simple. We're just gonna take a piece of bacon Stretch it out the long way like this. Get one of our chicken bombs right on there. We're gonna go over the top on this first one, like so. And all that's going to do is just keep everything hopefully nice and inside of this chicken bomb. We'll get this set off to the side. And like I said in previous videos, I like the thin cut bacon for this. I like being able to stretch it out, it just cooks more even. And then we'll just take and get this wrapped up. So we'll start right there. Go like so. Go like so. Just get everything nice and tucked in. And there we go. There is our chicken bomb. I'm going to get this set off to the side. We'll do one more. Stretch out a piece. Go right down across it. Go over the top. Over the top. And then we'll take another piece. Stretch it out, go right over the top like so. And then just around and around. 
And if you have to use two pieces of bacon, that's fine, which we'll have to do on this one. It's a little bit bigger. Just try and tuck that bottom. And there you go. There is our wrapped up chicken bomb. So I'm gonna get the rest of these wrapped up and I'll show you the final step in the process before we get them out onto the smoker. All right, so you can see we have all our chicken bombs wrapped up. The last step is just going to be taking our grill pin and anywhere we have a piece of bacon end hanging, we are just going to insert a grill pin and these are safe for high temps and we're not really cooking that hot today. We're running at 300 out on the Lone Star pellet grill. So we're just gonna throw a couple of these grill pins in. I like them better than toothpicks. They just seem to do a better job of securing everything. So anywhere there's a loose end, go ahead and pop a grill pin in. I don't think you can have too many. We just don't want our bacon unraveling on us. So go ahead and get that set off to the side. And I'm gonna get the rest of these done up. All right, so now that we have our grill pins on all of our chicken bombs, we're just gonna come over the top with a little bit more seasoning, just for a little bit of color and just for some of that barbecue flavor. All right, so these are looking great. We're just gonna let this rub sweat in a little bit and then we'll get them out on the Lone Star Grill's pellet grill running at 300 degrees today. I'm gonna check these after about an hour, but I will meet you out at the cooker. All right, so we have the Lone Star Grill's pellet grill running at 300 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and get these chicken bombs on the cooker. I'm just gonna kind of shape them up nicely as I get them on. This one's a little ugly, but that is okay. It's still going to taste delicious. And like I said, I'm gonna let these roll for about an hour and then we'll come out and check on them, see where they're at. So the big thing here, cooking at 300, is we wanna start rendering this bacon and then we might bump it up a little bit at the end just to crisp it up. But we wanna make sure this bacon's completely cooked as well as the chicken, but we wanna start rendering this bacon as soon as possible. So 300 for about an hour, we'll come out and check and see where we're at. We might kick it up towards the end just to get that crisped up, but it's looking really good and I cannot wait to see how these turn out. So I'm just gonna get you in and show you a little bit closer here. Yeah, those are looking nice. We got good smoke rolling on the Lone Star at 300. So these are looking fantastic. I'm gonna get this shut down and we'll see you in about an hour. All right, so we are one hour into this cook. We're gonna go ahead and check the temp on our chicken. And how we're going to do that is just get into the chicken itself. We're sitting at about 133, which is fine, 142 there. The bacon is starting to look good. We're just gonna keep rolling at this temperature, but you can see, these are looking really, really nice right now. We just wanna keep cooking them, get that chicken done. And the reason why we're using thighs for this is because thighs can handle a higher internal temperature. They can handle that high temp because there's more fat in them and that's gonna allow us enough time to render out this bacon and get this bacon done correctly. So all I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna get these moved over a little bit right over the fire pot after I get off camera here. So I'm gonna get these moved over. I'm gonna let them go about another 30, 45 minutes, we'll come back and check them, see how they look, if they're looking right, we're gonna get them sauced up, let them glaze up, and then they are going to be done. But yeah, these are looking absolutely fantastic. Just beautiful, beautiful color. So we're gonna get these closed down and uh, I'll see you in about 45 minutes. All right, so it has been another 45 minutes. You can see these are looking absolutely fantastic. That bacon is crisped up. I just took a temperature reading. We're sitting at about 175 degrees on our breasts. This one kind of blew out a little bit, but that's okay. That was our ugly one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these sauced up. I'm gonna be using the Blues Hog Raspberry Chipotle. I think this is gonna pair really well with these chicken bombs. We're gonna have nice sweet heat going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these sauced up. All right, so you can see we have an awesome looking glaze on those. We're gonna go ahead and let this sauce set for about five minutes. We'll get these off, we'll do a taste test. I can't wait to try them. These are looking fantastic. We'll see in about five minutes. All right, so it has been five minutes. You can see these chicken bombs are looking fantastic, nice and glazed up, nice and sticky. Let's get these inside, let them rest for about 15, 20 minutes, and we will give them a try. See you then. All right, so we've gone ahead and let our chicken bombs rest. I can't wait any longer. It's time to slice in and see how we did. I'm just gonna go straight down the middle. This was our ugly one, but you can see cream cheese, juicy chicken. That looks absolutely fantastic. That bacon's cooked up nicely. I cannot wait to try this. Go ahead and get that in there. And we'll just, look at that. Beautiful little medallion. That looks fantastic. Let's bump you out and we're gonna do the taste test right now. All right, so it is time. I cannot wait. These smell fantastic. Cheers. 
Wow, those are absolutely incredible. First off, the jalapeno still has a nice crunchy texture to it, which pairs really nice with this soft, tender chicken breast and bacon. The bacon's cooked through and through, which I really enjoy. I don't really like soggy, half-cooked bacon when I'm doing bacon wrap stuff, which is why I run the thin cut bacon. But this is fantastic. Nice little crunch off that jalapeno but still a little bit of heat in there. The chicken is not overcooked, it's nice and juicy. That's what happens when you use thighs, they can take a little bit higher heat. A lot of people argue with me on that, but I'm telling you, 175 is not too high. So this is great right here. We still have the cream cheese in there. We got the cheese, we got a nice sweet heat from my Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle along with this raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce. This is almost like a delicious, you know, smoked sushi, meat sushi that I absolutely love. I'm gonna eat this whole chunk right now. Excuse me, I'm sorry you gotta see me eat in front of you like this. You guys, if there's one recipe that you make this summer for my channel, make this it. These are fantastic. You can prep them ahead of time and cook them the next day so they're all ready to go. You know, nice gathering. I'll definitely be making these during football Sundays this year. But yeah, fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat this other one. You guys, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. You gotta try it. If you do, be sure to come back, comment, let me know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.